Hello and welcome to New Parenting Training. So today I got this Antuk 180p baby car camera. So this is not a sponsored video. I saw this advertised on Amazon and we've been using a mirror uh, on the back seat to kind of monitor our kit. Uh, but that doesn't really work out that all that well. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, maybe I should give this a try. And this has some cool feature. Like it has a five inch monitor easy installation, nine vision, and wide angle camera. And also this is 1080p, so obviously it's going to be uh, really good in terms of viewing when you're looking at the monitor itself. So let's see what they have in here. So cigarette, charger, puck, whatever you want to call this. Uh, yeah, this is pucking into your car cigarette lighter. Cable to run through the camera and the monitor. The suction cup to place the monitor and the straps to hook up the camera. Oh, the camera itself is actually pretty large. I was thinking like it's going to be a, a tiny one, but this is not small. Alright, so this is the 5 inch LCD screen. It has volume button on the back and a manual button as well okay a instruction all right so this is the product itself you have the camera you have the monitor and a bunch of accessory in between to connect them anyway let me go install this and i'll show you a comparison between the mirror and this and yeah i, I want to see the difference aside from the price point of view uh, but the price is not too expensive for this uh, particular setup either so i'll put all the product information down in the description below so you can go check them out this is our current setup we have a mirror that's heading toward the uh, car seat for the baby and the baby will sit here and the reflection will shoot the mirror and then it goes to the front where the rear view mirror is and that's how we're going to be able to monitor what our baby is doing with the face facing backwards so the mirror is very simple, it just held on by a couple of clips and that's it. Uh, but the problem with this is that our kids like to touch this. So when this is out of alignment, I am not able to see anything from the front. And I have to come out and then come back in to the back in order to make the adjustment. So it's very inconvenient. So using the back strap, you can strap onto the headrest and that's how you're going to set up the camera in the back. And let me run through the cable to the front. Alright, so I'm going to do is run through the cable along this side down here and I already tuck in portion of the cable underneath here and then I run through this portion and all the way to the front so this way I try to hide as much as I can with the cable so our kid will not try to grab it and to uh, yank it I'm not sure you can see it but I'm running through the cable underneath here and continue running through to the front and onto the cigarette lighter any slack that you may have, you can put under the carpet, like so. And then just have a little bit of cable sticking out. That will be going to the monitor. And I'm gonna try to figure out where to put the monitor. All right, so the, you can make adjustment here. So this will make this go up and down, and then you can tighten it. And then same thing here, you can actually extend this out, like so. So what I'm gonna do, uh, there are a few ways you can put this. You can, you can put it here, but then you're going to block my view, the uh, backup camera view. So I may have to slide down and set up here. 
with the hand might block my uh, cell phone. Hmm, this is going to be tricky. Or I can put it here. Yeah, maybe I'll put it here. So you just place it down and then. Turn it out. Okay, nice so. Yeah. This looks good. Okay, so now the camera need to get attached. Alright, now to connect with the cigarette lighter. Right here. Alright, so now moment of truth. I'm gonna turn the car power on. Oh wow, look at this. This is super clear, in real time. Also, the cigarette lighter has a red button on there. If you press it, the screen will go off. If you press it again, the screen will come back on. So if you want to turn off the screen, you can do so. It also has a uh, night vision mode. So I guess I have to try it out at the night time. But I'll try to film it. Um, yeah, and see how that will come out. So because of this camera is 150 degree or viewing angle, and now I move the camera to the center of the car seat. So that way, when our second kid is going to be here soon, I'm going to install a car seat either in the center or on the side. So that way I can monitor them both at the same time. And this is really cool. Instead of going to have like two different mirrors on the back, then now I just need one camera I can monitor them uh, the whole entire back seat. Now this is really great for people who has a minivan or really long SUV. You want to see what's going on on the fall end of the car. This way you don't have to turn your head as much. You just need to look straight ahead and then you will be able to see the monitor and what's going on in the back. And here are some of the footage in the broad daylight. Uh, as you can see, even though it's really bright outside, i still able to see what's going on in the back seat very clearly. And also the uh, night vision mode works really great. And as you can see right now, it's, even though it's broad daylight, but I'm in a garage. The garage in the back is kind of dark, so you will see some night vision happening here. And also they have manual selection. There are three buttons where you can select things on the back of the monitor. The center one is where you can do some selection, brightness, and you can go up and down with the other two buttons. And there are a bunch of other stuff that you can uh, mess around with. I found that the default setting is pretty good already so i have no issue whatsoever so in conclusion i really do recommend this type of uh, camera for the car mirror that i initially have that costs you can get one for anywhere from uh, 16 to 30 some odd dollars this however it costs a little bit more but i think it's totally worth the price to get one of this this helps a lot especially with the baby mirror you cannot see all that well through the rear view mirror and also if the kid somehow kicked the mirror then you you are not going to be able to see anything through the front uh, rear view mirror so this is a great addition to the car to kind of keep an eye on the kid Anyway, if you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.